What is going on team? Welcome to today's vlog, news segment, video. Um, wow, how do you start this? Like, I'm f***ing disappointed. I'm like, I'm f***ing angry to the core. Like, when I start this and I'm talking, I'm like, fuck, it just makes me want to cry. I feel, yeah, I feel really emotional this morning, think about it. I'm f***ing disappointed, I don't even know what to say. Shit. I feel really sad this morning. Jazz and I have been messaged this over the last couple of days. I mean, we've been obviously trying to make a video about it and we, we haven't found the words to really... Um, I'm, I mean, I'm sure you've all seen the, the, the tweets. I'm sure you've all seen the emails. I'm sure you've all seen what's unraveling and I'm gonna kind of ex explain it to you guys and we're gonna get a couple of people on here and we're just gonna kind of talk about it. So just a brief outline of, of CrossFit, right? The, the thing that, I mean, most of our videos are around. It's been an integral part of Jazz and I's kind of life and what we do. CrossFit itself is a company. It is, it's, I mean, we'll sometimes refer to it as a sport, but basically it is just a company that has a tr training methodology that if you look at it, the company itself is owned 100% by Greg Glassman. Off that, People then pay $3,000 to be affiliated to him so they can have a gym that then they can name CrossFit, whatever they want it to be called. A lot of those people that own these affiliates may never have even spoken to Greg Lassman. On Twitter, Greg Lassman is known and his Twitter username is CrossFit CEO. So when he speaks, it looks like he speaks for the rest of the community, which he, he doesn't. And a couple of tweets and a couple of emails over the last couple of days have really just voiced his own opinion and not the opinions of everyone else within CrossFit. Just a quick overview, if you've not seen what's been going on, it's been all in the news. It made it to kind of Apple news, which is the bit, the big news, you know, like when you go on there, everyone's seen it. I'm gonna try and be as concise as possible and kind of keep my emotions out of it whilst I explain so you can make your own judgment as well. Now, before the tweets, there was an email that sparked outrage within the CrossFit community. On the 3rd of June, CrossFit Rocket, a 10 year affiliate. This is an affiliate that's been paying its Affiliation fee, $3,000 a year, over $30,000 in total spent towards CrossFit, reached out to CrossFit because as we always know, CrossFit is a very vocal company when it comes to issues around the world. And since the start of the Black Lives Matter movement, CrossFit had been silenced and it was, it was deafening. To which the email response to this 10-year affiliate, which Greg Glassman always goes on about, they're the pinnacle of CrossFit and the thing that, you know, built and shaped the community was this saying, hey Lisa, I sincerely believe the quarantine has adversely impacted your mental health. I won't speak for Jeff Kane, but I can tell you that you are delusional in thinking that anyone even for a second thought that you were the conscience of CrossFit. The very notion is cringeworthy. You think you're more virtuous than we are. It's disgusting. Your self-professed brand wizardry has been tolerated, but never seen as actually thoughtful or effective, but certainly manipulative. You're doing your best to brand us as racists and you know it's bullshit. That makes you a really shitty person. Do you understand that? You've let your politics warp you into something that strikes me as wrong to the point of being evil. I'm ashamed of you, Greg. That email got shared on the now Rocket Community Fitness page and got spread around the CrossFit community. I mean, it raised questions around Greg's integrity. And then following that, a couple of days later, we saw the tweet that really has sparked outrage which was a response to the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation. Their tweet saying, racism and discrimination are critical public health issues that demand an urgent response, hashtag Black Lives Matter, with the director's statement. To this statement and this tweet, Greg Glassman responded with, it's Floyd 19. Using the death of George Floyd and the current global pandemic with COVID-19 as a kind of crossover snide comment. One of the most insensitive I can't even wrap my head around it. Th things I've ever seen. Reel in the emotion. Off the back of this tweet, we've seen CrossFit affiliates de-affiliating in the hundreds. This is just a small list of de-affiliated over the last couple of days. Obviously, I've been speaking to other boxes that are thinking about it. This is just the start. One of the big players in the CrossFit space, NC Fit, owned by Jason Kalipa, with 20 plus CrossFit gyms have de-affiliated with the statement, it's time for change. Emily Bridges Terminus CrossFit is now Terminus Strength and Conditioning. CrossFit Darkside is now Darkside Athletics. Pat Sherwood, who, who works for CrossFit HQ and owns CrossFit Lynchpin, 
pulled his affiliate. He's someone that's been with CrossFit forever. The thing is with the CrossFit gyms is no matter how much you like it or you don't like it, if you are an affiliate and you're paying your affiliation fee, that money that you're paying is going directly into Greg Glassman's pocket. It's, you are directly supporting that man. Just true. And a lot of boxes now are saying, we don't, we don't want to support Greg and what he said, which I thoroughly stand alongside. Alongside that, we've seen a lot of brands pull their deals, pull their affiliation with CrossFit themselves as well. Reebok canceled future Games negotiations with a statement saying, our partnership with CrossFit HQ comes to an end later this year. Recently, we have been in discussions regarding a new agreement. However, in light of recent events, we have made the decision to end our partnership with CrossFit HQ. Rogue Fitness, obviously one of the major sponsors of the CrossFit Games and CrossFit events all around the world, issued a statement saying that Rogue does not support the latest statements made by CEO Greg Glassman. His comments are unacceptable under all conditions. The community is bigger than one person. The movement is stronger than one person. No one should be expected to tolerate anything that keeps us from moving forward as one. Effective immediately, one, Rogue Invitational will remove the CrossFit logo from the 2020 event. We will only allow a discussion of sanctioning with real discussion on the future. Two, Rogue will work with the CrossFit Games leadership to determine the best path forward. We will fulfill the 2020 season for the athletes and the community. The future is dependent on the direction and the leadership within CrossFit HQ. Rogue has been an equipment provider since 2010 and we believe it is part of our DNA. We hope there is a path forward. We stand behind the community. A big company that's sponsored people like Matt Fraser, Tia Beam, issued a statement against Greg Glassman. Beyond the whiteboard, a huge programming and online management. Romwad, FitAid. Today we made the tough decision to end our long-standing relationship as a sponsor of the CrossFit Games. And we've even seen the resignation of Julie Fouché, CrossFit Level 1 seminar staff. CrossFit sanctioned events have spoken up. CrossFit Strength in Depth said that the misjudged actions of CrossFit HQ is not a representation of Sid HQ or our beliefs. And then we've seen the multitude of athletes speaking out on the current situation. I wanted to start by saying that I am incredibly saddened disappointed and frustrated with the actions and words of CrossFit headquarters, and in particular, Greg Glassman. I want to start off by saying I do not condone or support any of the comments made by Greg Glassman over the weekend. Um, this morning I sat down, read some of the stuff, heard some of the stuff, um, and I, I can't, I can no longer be a part of that. For me, loyalty um, is a huge part of who I am. It's one of my anchor values, and over the past 10, 11 years, uh, CrossFit is something that I've been loyal to. Chris Hinshaw, obviously a huge part with his aerobic capacity. He's been a huge coach and athlete within the space. Samantha Briggs, Brooke Entz, Haley Adams, Carm Porter, Alex Smith, Annie Thorisdotter, Chris Spieler, Emily Bridges, Tim Paulson, Daniel Spiegel, Cody Mooney. The, the list goes on and on. With some athletes taking that one step further, Chandler Smith himself said, until changes to CrossFit are made, I will not be participating in the 2020 CrossFit Games. Noah Olsen then followed suit. You, uh, you chose to opt out of the Games. Yeah, man. Um, for us over here in the States, that was yesterday. And yesterday I wrestled with that decision all day and considered so many different factors. And at the end of the day, it just, my heart knew what the right decision was. To me, a, a person is a person. And, and I think everybody deserves the same amount of love and respect. And I, I've always believed that. And some of my best friends are black and, and not, that's like, I, I almost, at this point, because of the way people are twisting words, I feel bad saying that because people are saying that's virtue signaling and by no means do I mean to say that. What I just mean to me is that that's very close to home, that there are some really special people in my life that were hurting. And for me, that wasn't okay to just sit back and let them keep hurting. And right now, there was a platform for us to speak up and say something about it and do something about it. And that's how this kind of all unraveled. It started as saying something and I wanted to say as much as I could. And then yesterday I had a conversation with a friend and he said, man, this is a pivotal time and you've said a lot. And a lot of people have said a lot, but you have the opportunity now to do something, to take action. And by saying that you 
essentially would boycott the games, that's actually doing something. That's kind of putting your money where your mouth is and actions speak louder than words. And that really resonated with me. And I was like, he's absolutely right. This is my, this is a chance for all of us to walk the walk and not just talk the talk and stand up and try to actually make some change come out of all of this, specifically for our community that have been very vocal about how much they're hurting. And just recently, Christy Eremo has done the same. And whilst recording this video, Travis Mayer. Now, since all of this has happened, we have seen a response from CrossFit HQ and from Greg Glassman saying, I CrossFit HQ and the CrossFit community will not stand for racism. I made a mistake by the words that I chose yesterday. My heart is deeply saddened by the pain it has caused. It was a mistake, not racist, but a mistake. Floyd is a hero in the black community and not just a victim. I should have been sensitive to that and I wasn't. I apologize for that. I was trying to stick it to the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation for their invalidated models resulting in needless economic wrecking, life wrecking, lockdown. And when I saw they were announcing modeling a solution to our racial crisis, I was incredulous, angry, and overly emotional. Involving George Floyd's name in the effort was wrong. It's our hope that his murder catalyzes real change resulting in a level playing field for our black brothers and sisters. Please hear me when I say we stand by the community to fight for our justice. I care about you, our community, and I am here for you. Personally for me, I feel like he should have came out and put his face, said those words so you could see. You can, you, you can read someone, team, by how, like you can see if they're being real. And I just don't think a tweet with words that could have been written by someone else is, I don't think it's enough to come back from what. Yeah, it's not. It's one hundred percent not. No. He has to show the community that it comes from him. Yeah. And he hasn't. It's crazy having a voice in times like this. The amount that we've been messaged and being said like, you should be saying something. You should be saying something. It's it's harder than you realise to kind of compound everything together and understand what's going on in the world. We've taken time over this last week to really see what's going on in the world and open our eyes to the the injustices that are happening everywhere. Not just America, not just the UK, not just in our sport with Greg Glassman, but worldwide. And at a time like this, I feel like it's more important than ever to, to stick together and, and be the glue, whether that be under the CrossFit name, which honestly, I don't see that happening with the point being Greg Glassman having 100% of CrossFit shares. And if he even steps down as a CEO, he's still gonna benefit from people doing CrossFit itself. Unless it goes in a different direction or CrossFit is sold, it will go to him. Um, I don't stick by that and... We don't stick by that. We don't stick by that. I think we've both been incredibly proud to be part of the CrossFit community and to see how everyone has pulled together over the last few days especially. And I truly believe that only good things will come of this. We have united and I, I believe that we are stronger than ever it takes something like this to to make a change you have to realize you have to realize that the system is broken and that that's a big issue in the world right now but also we've realized that the system's broken within crossfit itself and that needs to change and we can be that change and we can be those people that a beast to beast had a great point about if you are part of a crossfit box this this is what he said the one thing i, I do want to say if you are going to a crossfit gym and and you enjoy it don't just cancel your membership, right? Because that is going to hurt the coaches and the gym that you go to. That's not gonna hurt Greg Glassman, the person that said this. What you can do, and what I think is important, speak to the owners of your gym, speak to the coaches that you work with, and ask them like, hey, do you guys really wanna be affiliated with CrossFit and see how they feel about the situation? Conversations at times like this are the most important thing that we can do. So we can learn, so we can empathize, so we can educate one another and move forward. I'm incredibly proud of the diverse community that Jazz and I have built with Hustle Made with this channel over the last six years and it's, it's. We want you guys to know that we're here and that we're gonna stand together through this and I don't know what the future is from here, but it will be better. Today, obviously I've sat down and spoke to a lot of people about the, the issues and I'm just gonna kind of end this vlog. Obviously you can put your comments down in the, in the comments section down below, but I'm just gonna end this vlog with a couple of conversations with people that, you know, we've met through this incredible community and uh, their thoughts on the situation too. Downstairs there's a poster um, above our 
above our sofa that says no rain, no flowers. And I feel like this rain now hopefully will impact positively in the future and something will grow from it. And hopefully we can all be a part of it, both in the CrossFit space and the world. Yeah, I don't, don't know how you felt when you, your, your, like your initial reaction, but mine was a combination of like anger and then just made me feel sad is because that's not how the CrossFit community should be portrayed because that's not how it is at all. Like I've been in CrossFit for what, six, seven years and not once had any sort of inkling that I've got any sort of issue with some, with me being black in the sport. Um, and yeah, the CrossFit community deserves someone so much better than, than Greg Glassman putting out that statement because the community is so special. Um, like it's, it's so welcoming to, if anyone walks into your box, it doesn't matter what race you are, what age, what gender, what nationality, every box will welcome them with open arms and bring them into their, into their box. And, and that's how it should be. And that's how we should be portrayed from the CEO of the brand that we, we all like, are back behind. What are you thinking now? Because obviously you're, a, you're an affiliate owner. You're <clears throat> part of this sport. You've always been part of this sport. You've seen a lot of people de-affiliate and is, is that something that you're thinking about? Yeah, hundred percent. I think um, initially when I read it, I wanted to cut ties to CrossFit just because I didn't want to support him any way, shape or form. But I think that was like a really initial emotional reaction. I just want to wait to see just how it pans out over the next kind of day or two. But yeah, I, I definitely want to make it clear that I don't support. If he's going to stay at the front of CrossFit, I, oh, I wouldn't support CrossFit at all. People always talk about the community and they say the community is the strongest part of it. But the community is just the people, you know, like it's not CrossFit. The community is yeah. people. Yeah, exactly. hundred percent. So it doesn't matter if CrossFit goes, you're still going to have that amazing community. You're still going to have people that can go to, to competitions and you still have that community aspect. Um, it, it only takes a big brand like Rogue or someone to start a different sort of fitness games or whatever. And we'll all be there and that community aspect would be exactly the same. And I think, have you seen his apology? Is yeah, I, don't, I said to Jazz on the apology, I said, look, for, he is a leader of 15,000 affiliates, hundreds of thousands of athletes, people that do the sport. And for him to come out with a written response, not even show his face. Exactly. And, and because I said, like, you can, you can see someone's intentions by the way they act and the way you, you can, you can see if they're being sincere and just yeah. to hide behind some words that someone else may have yeah. written. is just not. That's, that's literally like someone said to him, you have to apologize here. Things are getting out of control. He's like, oh, okay, if I must. And yeah. he puts me out. Dash. It's like, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Like words won't be good enough after this sort of scenario. Like action's got to be taken. Yeah, and I don't even think if he came out and spoke with his face and everything, like people would see him and if he was here, it wouldn't yeah. change anything. But it, people would obviously have a bit more respect. But I don't think it, I don't think he can come back from it. No, definitely. There's some some things you just can't come back from. And like I said, an action needs to be taken. And it would be nice to see. It's hard because obviously he is 100 percent older than CrossFit. But it'd be nice to see CrossFit HQ or someone from CrossFit HQ to come out and say we don't we don't back his, his statement yeah. um, and his voice is not the voice of the whole CrossFit brand. It'd be nice for someone to come out and say that. It, it's nice to see that everyone from like grassroots CrossFit to all the way to the top end elite athletes all coming together and they've all got the same message that we're not going to stand with this. We're not going to support someone and a brand that has these views. We, but for 10 years, I've been a CrossFitter and if now CrossFit is not the way that I want to identify myself because of how they have represented themselves, then what do I call myself and who am I anymore? I mean, I know who I am and I know what I, I like to do. It's funny that one word and, and the terminology of an identifier like that of being a CrossFitter can be so powerful. So I, I don't know what it looks like moving forward. You know, if, if we're no longer CrossFitters, then what are we? We're, we're still going to be think, people like, that love exercise, love community, love competing, love each other. Like, we just need a new word for it. In terms of terminology, I, I really liked the rocket 
previously CrossFit, transitioning to Rocket Community Fitness. I thought, I was like, you know what, if you had to choose a phrase that was CrossFit without saying CrossFit, community fitness is probably it, right? Like fitness as one word defines what we do and then community defines how we do it. So I thought that was kind of a cool way to transition. I'll, I'll restate what I, what I, you know, that it's going to be okay. Um, and it's only going to be okay if you lead, I lead, we all lead, we keep this community together. Um, you know, it's like remedial to say we don't agree with what's going on, A and B, what, you know, CrossFit HQ's position has been in this Coach Glassman. Um, you know, but the the that that all being said it's you know how do we keep this community together moving forward um i'm going to keep doing what i do uh and try to do more you're going to do what you do and and i think it's you know we need to be um glue for for our community because we it, it it needs us most right now it's athletes it's affiliates it's events, uh, it's volunteers. It's like, just think of all of these people when you go to an event alone that make up the, the power of that event, Wadapalooza. It's, you know, you know, brands and they're all reaching out. I've talked to a lot of them over the last 48 hours and nothing has changed on um, their belief in this system. Um, you know, their fear only has been, you know, what's the path forward and the path forward is to stick together. And, and, you know, mm -hmm. I plan on, um, you know, being a leader and, and helping that, you know, being a piece of glue and be, we need you too. you know, the, the, your, your community needs you. And we all have to be glue. I think the community has been sure. incredibly strong during this time. I've never seen them come together. Like we have done over the last few days. It's incredible to see. Yeah. And I think that I, d I do truly believe that only good things can come from the united front that everybody showed. Truly. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's like, it's how I was brought up is that, you know, there's a positive in everything and it's hard to even see that in a scenario like this, you know, just taking what's going on period. Forget about the comments that have come out and the issues we're dealing with as a community, uh, through that. It's just, you know, you have to, um, you know, look for what the path forward is and what the positive can be of every situation. Um, maybe that makes me a dreamer, uh, but I, I um, it's always, it's been how I've dealt with everything in my entire life. And there is, and has to be something positive of this or it's all for nothing. Yeah. Or, you know, it's, and that's it's, how you always make something better, isn't it? You find what the problem is, you, you attack it and you say, this is where the issue is. And then you, you change it. If that's the only not, reason how the community can grow. That's the only reason how we can grow. It's the only reason how we can move forward. And if that's getting rid of Greg and then understanding that there's a underlying issue, then we go forward that way and fix it. We find out how to create um, better accessibility for different, um, different groups of people and make sure it's more inclusive. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of things that everybody can learn from what's happening right now I think we we are inclusive though right and, and and it's now just you know really making sure people know that and 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 being active with that and, you know really um you know getting that out there and and pushing people to get more involved is really it because it is like i mean we we've talked a lot about this within my particular team about you know Wadapalooza is what we feel like the most inclusive platform in the world of fitness. You know, we accept all shapes and sizes and skill levels and, you know, races, languages, and, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. You, we want you to come and, and celebrate your fitness, you know, 60 odd countries are represented and it's, um, you know, we want to be a catalyst for even more of that, you know, that, that um, I want to even find ways to diversify that, you know, and it's, it's, you know, really just, you got to be active. You got to be able to get out and tell people that we want you to be a part of this, you know, and, and work hard at it. It's, you know, it's work. It's, you know, we were talking earlier, it's one conversation with one person at a time always in, in, in that's the snowball. That's how this started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, Greg Glassman created something fantastic in this community. Um, and, and, you know, I would, I would love to think that 
he would want this community to move forward the way that he visualized it and started it, right? And it, and it was him working with one person, teaching him his methodology at a time. Um, and, you know, just how that was taught and grown has to be the way that we move it forward and diversify it and allow people to, to have access to it.